Hi guys, good morning. I hope that you are enjoying time at home today. I don't know about you, but it has been uh, kind of an interesting week here for me. Lots of things going on, and I know that some of you even started school this week. So today, I thought it might be good for us to talk about something that's really important when you guys are starting a new thing, whether that's a new sport or a new school or a new grade or even starting with a new teacher, right? Uh, and that thing is faith. And faith is really just believing that something is going to happen even though we can't see it and even though we don't know if it will. So, for example, some of you guys right now might be needing to have faith that you're going to get along with your teacher because you don't know them that well. You've only been in their class for a week, and you might have even only seen them on a computer screen. So you guys are believing and hoping that they're a good teacher and that they're going to be able to teach you what you need to know. You have faith in them. Today, our story comes from, again, the book of Matthew, and we're talking about a woman who was seeking out help for a daughter that might not have been too much younger than you guys. And she really needed help, and the only person that could give her the help that she needed was Jesus. The only person that could heal her daughter was Jesus. The challenge was she had to go to Jesus, set aside all of her fears. She wasn't sure if Jesus would say yes. She wasn't sure if he would say no, and she had to ask him. And so that's what she does. She tracks him down. She finds him where he's at, traveling between two. And she goes to him and she says, Jesus, I really need your help. My daughter is sick and she needs someone to heal her. Can you come? And at first, uh, the Bible says actually that Jesus ignores her. That's not very nice, right? Yeah, it's not very nice. And then eventually he makes an excuse about why he won't come help her. But she persists. She continues. She has so much faith that Jesus is the one who can help her, that she engages with Jesus. She talks with him. And finally, he says in response to her, woman, your faith, your belief in me and my ability to help you is rewarded. Your belief in me means that I can heal your daughter. And it says in the Bible, immediately after that, she was healed. And so the point of this story is that this woman probably could have put her faith in a lot of places. She could have trusted in a lot of different things. But she chose Jesus. And because of that, she experienced Jesus' power. And so for you guys today, that's what I would say to you. You guys have a lot going on in your life right now. And there's probably a lot of things in your life that are going to require you to be able to see or to believe something without knowing it's going to happen. And you know who can help you do that? And the only thing that you should be believing in right now is Jesus. We can put our faith in Jesus, and Jesus is going to help us navigate all those weird things. You know why? Because by putting our faith in Jesus, Jesus helps us to put our faith in others. Jesus helps us to put our faith in that teacher that we don't know very well right now. So as you guys are thinking about faith, again, believing in something even though you can't see it and even though you're not sure it's going to happen, as you guys are thinking about that this week and how it relates to your life, remember the story of this woman and how she interacted with Jesus. Because maybe that's what you guys need to do this week, too. All right, we're going to head into the sermon for the adults. I hope that you guys have a great week, and we will see you soon.